Welcome to my channel, where we're going to talk about all things AI. In this video, I'm going to teach you how can you create your own GPT AI assistant without any coding experience. ChatGPT allows you to do a lot of cool stuff, but it also has limitations. It can't search web for the latest data. And if you want it to do certain tasks like send an email or call an API, it, you can't really do that too. That's why recently there are a lot of discussions about LangChain. And if you don't know what LangChain is, it's basically an open source library that allow you to build powerful AI apps beyond ChatGPT. You can give it access to Google search and you can import millions of pages of documents like finance reports. And you can even create things like AutoGPT, which is a to-do apps that do tasks by itself. However, to use LangChain, you need to know how to program in Python. And it also requires a lot of setups. So it can feel a bit overwhelming if you don't know how to program. But I just discovered another tool called Dust.tt. It allows you to build and deploy AI apps without any coding experience. It provides you Zapier type of interface where you can stitch together different function blocks into a workflow that is powered by large language model. And I was able to build an AI app that can help me write thousands of super personalized code email to my clients in just five minutes. And you can do it too. Let's get it. Firstly, go to dust.tt, create your account in GitHub or Google, add in your open AI API key under the provider tab, and then create your first app. You can give it any title, let's say code email GPT. This is the main interface of dust.tt. It's pretty straightforward to use. As we mentioned before, it's like Zapier, where you can stitch in together different function blocks to build a workflow. And you can see there are a lot of useful functions. For example, you can give uh, your large language model ability to search on Google. It also allows it to script certain website by browser function. So let's say we want to build an AI app where I will give it a list of my clients and I want it to write very personalized email based on my client's name and profile, as well as a program selling. To do that in Dust.tt, it will require two building blocks. One is called input, another is large language model. Input is the starting point of the app. It's what are the information your user need to put in. In this case, it will be the name and profile of the clients. And then LLM function allow you to call a large language model and give a specific prompt and configurations. With these two most essential building blocks, you can already achieve this AI app functionality. So we can click on this block button and add this input. You will need to create this input structure. So you click on the create data set button. It will take you to here and we can put in clients and define what are the inputs. In our case, it will be name as well as profile. And on the right, you will need to choose the type of data this input will be. And below, you can predefine some inputs for the testing purpose later. I will add a few here. Once I'm adding those, I can click create. So now one of the data set is created called clients. And I will go back to specification tab and choose clients. And then we will need to add the LM block, which is a function that we can curate a large language model, which is GPT in this case. And we can choose the model we're going to use, open AI, and I will choose GPT 3.5. You don't really need to change the rest, though I will recommend you increase the max, in, max token, which is the length of content it will generate. And then you can insert a prompt here. So because we are writing a GPT that can help us write code email, I'm going to give it prompt like, you are a sales GPT who is very, very, very at writing high conversion code emails. I'm selling an online course about generative AI to help product designers and uh, product managers to get a deep understanding of how to develop AI products. Please help me write an email to here. I need to insert the name of my clients, which is already saved in this client data set. So I can give a double curly bracket and in the middle, I will add in input which is the name of the first field we define here and then name. Wait, let me check. Yeah, it's all lowercase. So this is how you can insert the data from the input into here. Whose profile is like below. And we're going to do the same thing, input dot profile. Okay, here we go. We're already adding a pretty good prompt and you can click on this run button to test out, see what kind of results you will get. All right, it's working. So it already returned a specific email to Jackie based on the profile I give, which you can see it will talk about how I came across your profile on LinkedIn and was impressed by your extensive experience as a senior product manager at Safety Culture, which is a company he's working in. 
So this is pretty good. We can go to this use tab to try to test out this app. So I can go to LinkedIn, grab a new profile, do the same thing, try to copy paste those information in. Okay, so the, the length of the content is too long. So we can probably change to GPT-4. Okay, once I did that, I can click on execute button, try to run this. Now we get our results. But if you scroll down, you will see that even though we get the results, but it has a lot of weird stuff. It will include the prompt itself. And at bottom, it will show us the completion, which inside is the actual email we want. So we need to do something to only grab this part. So we're going to go back to specifications and adding a new block called code. And code block allow us to run any type of code execution. In this case, we just want to extract the specific information about the email itself. So we will come here and in the middle, adding return env state dot model dot completion dot text dot trim v dot state dot model referring to the results we get from this block, which is named model dot completion dot text. Uh, basically means we're going to get completion, which is the first object. And we're going to get text, which is the content here. And try to just function for, for it to remove actual white space. Now we get the results back and you can see uh, it only extract information about the email content itself and remove all the other stuff. Cool. Now we have this code email GPT app ready to use. All you need to do is just go to this use tab and then adding the name profile here. And it will start running and give, give you results. So most basic use case is just like this. You put input, then you give it to the large language model and use the code to extract information. But what if I want AI to write email sounds like me? You can use a new function called data. That it is function for you to insert some training data to fine tune the AI model and give you better results. To do that, I can go back to my code email GPT app. Click this plus button to adding a data block. And at default, it's called examples. And I will create a new data set. And in this case, the training data I will give the GPT will be the name of the clients, the profile, the thoughts, which is an instruction to help GPT to learn how I think. And then the email. And I can give it a few examples. And I can add in the special profile here. And then I can add in some thoughts. Bill is from Sydney and his furniture store is in North Sydney, which I live here. And Bill is working in furniture industry and AI can help him train his sales team. So I should write an intro to praise how great his North Sydney furniture store is. And then the core value proposition of my course is to help his sales team to leverage AI to write better sales emails. And this is an example of the email I will write with my own tune so that we can use those data to train the AI. And I will basically do the same thing here to give a few examples. So I come back here, I uh, choose the data set as examples, which allow me to use this data sets within this app. I'm going to insert example data into the prompt to train GPT how I think and how I write emails. So the way to do it is firstly, I will insert this for loop. Basically what it means is it will insert all the examples from the database. Firstly, adding this four people in examples and examples here is referring to the data I'm just inserting here. And then I will in the end, put a N4, which is like the end of this code blocks. In the middle, I will insert kind of same thing, except I will change here to people, which referring to the, the entity. Okay, so let's see what's the results we got. AI star learning how I think. It will firstly analyze what are the common grounds I have, and then what are the key value proposition based on the profile. So this one is very similar to how I'm actually going to write. This is a quick example. How can you give some training data to fine tune the results of AI? And that's it. You can go to the use tab to use this AI app you just created, but they also provide the API endpoint for you to actually build out the whole app. And with chat GPT, I can ask for step-by-step -step instructions. And this is a web app I just built with instruction from chat GPT. But those are just some of the most basic use cases you can do in DustTT. There's so many different things you can stitch in together with all the different functionality that we haven't covered today.
just continue exploring and try to build some interesting things. At the homepage, there are different examples you can learn from the community as well. I hope you enjoyed this video. Comment below about the AI apps that you want to build or any questions you have and subscribe for more things AI.